Hey guys, welcome to Season 3, Episode 18 of Promo Minds. If you would like to get these videos early, down in the description to simplereactions.com, patreon.com slash simplereactions. You can get these videos up to 20 weeks early. I had a little pause there. <laughs> Here we go. I'm sorry, I can't find my Long week. <laughs> Phone number. Just, I've got a line out the door. Can't find you in the system. No, I, I'm in there. Wait a sec. D E R Z M O M D. Are you still on Foxborough Drive? Everything's still the same. Sign here. This is sketchy. Here you go. She's either having really like bad luck or. He's back. He found me again. Fear is the weapon. A stalker? If his target is afraid and affected, then he's won. Two days ago, a woman named Audrey Henson did this to her husband of 20 years while he was sleeping. She confessed while sitting... Oh, snap! She's in prison. Scene ...and repeated her confession to me at the lockup. Her husband can't defend himself from what she's saying about him any more than he could against the shotgun. Does that bother anyone? Will she talk to us as she wiped her eyes? Her attorneys already agreed to let her. Practically insists on it. Claims she's got nothing to hide. Hmm. No, I can't promise that what we'll find is going to help your case. Hi, Agent Giroux. This is Emily Prentice. I'm sorry to rush in, but when I got the message you'd see me this morning, I could barely sleep last night. But that's nothing new. I haven't been able to sleep for about two years. We read the letter you wrote to the Silver Spring Police. I used to be in Atlanta. I moved here six Atlanta. months ago. And then out of nowhere, another note. Very sympathetic, but his hands are tied unless something happens to me. Then it will be too late. Will you help me? His hands are tied until something happens to you. I'm presenting the case to our team oh, this nice. morning. I'll let you know what we decide. Dursmond and Ryan Scott. Excuse me? Those are the people who you'll be calling when you find me dead. Crazy stalker. No, no, stop. Oh, what a sweet little, what an adorable picture. <laughs> oh. Where's mom and dad? Josh and Ross are still at the seminar in Boston. We shouldn't wait on this. Did you, Did you say mom and dad? Carrie <laughs> Dersman, two years ago in Atlanta, she started receiving anonymous notes that meticulously described her whereabouts throughout the day. That is unusual. Typically, a stalker will change his focus to another woman if the object of his affection moves away. I mean, I get that. This is obsessive. Of escalation, Insanely obsessive. Still. When Carrie received the first letter in Maryland, she went to the locals for protection. They told her they couldn't help her. This woman is in serious danger. This case is in my hands now, and if we do nothing and something happens to her... Damn, she wrote down those numbers so fast. I thought she just wrote the names. Aside from a birth certificate and a marriage license, there's no actual record that Audrey Hansen even exists. How many years of the current home? It looks like they've lived in that house their whole married life. And we're certain there are no medical records that point to a history of abuse. Actually, sir, there's no medical record at all beyond the birth of their second child, Nathan. Wow. What about life insurance? Any assets? Any financial motive for Audrey to kill her husband? Could it be kill the husband for the daughter? Damn, we got two cases going on here. This so we is can use this area until something bigger comes along. I set it up just like Agent Giroux requested. Is she coming by now? Uh, she and another agent are at Carrie's office. I didn't have the manpower. Listen, we understand what it's like to be shorthanded. We're just here to help. Look, don't get me wrong. I got a They're shorthanded right now. Some guy was doing this to her. I got my hands on him. Every case we take, I have to explain why in terms of cost and size relative to the BAU. And I don't always think it's worth it. They do have four agents doing the work that locals should. Last year in Denver, a woman was being harassed by her ex-boyfriend. Cops knew who he was, but they couldn't arrest him. We didn't take that case. She was finally granted a restraining order three days after he threw Aston in the face. Right now, I don't, I don't care about limited resources. I cannot make that same mistake again. 
Okay, well, Carrie lived in Atlanta. The initial that sucks, but like you can't just be throwing out like restraining yeah, orders or throwing out time. you know accusations. The first card is likely a you, you can't, it's just hard. There's not enough the people. Time saw her at the first face to face meeting. He actually wrote the. There's too the many card. people and not Watch enough first police to help everybody. It was it's like just, Tuesday. Damn. Okay, so we should look at other Tuesdays. We need you to make a list of names of everyone you know, even acquaintances, both here and in Georgia. Okay. Don't forget ex-boyfriends or any indiscretions. Nothing is in. Something tells me she doesn't know who this guy is. If I knew what if I was If it's a guy like this, so typically upset, stop. When your paths crossed, it's someone like something clicked Yeah, you just hardly knew. If you were smiling, he probably and he, you were yeah, smiling at He him. just latched on to no that. We have no way of knowing what his fantasy is. Ryan's at home. There's another card in a box at the door. Tell him not to touch it. We're on our way. Okay, so every Tuesday, Carrie's firm has a staff meeting. And it's catered by a lot of different restaurants. I'll add to the list. Also, skin color. He's dead. Why do we care if he's lifting weights and out in the sun? Oh, we're looking at this from a behavioral standpoint. He's making improvements to his appearance, and it's likely to impress Carrie. What does he yes. say look like? Would he send something that could hurt me? Probably not, but we don't want to take any chances. You really think this guy would do something like that after all this time? At this point, you haven't done anything to provoke him. They look like antiques. He says they were his grandmother's family heirloom. He wants to make you a part of his family. Well, we have the back of his head now. He hopes that uh, you give him a gift soon, too. What does that mean? Get this Why would you take a picture place. of the back of your you head and send it to someone? Uh, first class mail is harder to track, but we'll see. Officers will be driving by your house periodically, looking for anything suspicious, and you have my number if anything happens. We'll call and let you know if we find anything. Thank you. I would be moving out. We haven't spoken to your mother yet, but we understand it's being suggested by her attorney. Unbelievable. She's actually blaming him. What about your mother? She never learned anything, not once, in my whole life. I guess she just couldn't be bothered. So if your father didn't abuse your mother, why did she kill him? Probably just to take him away from us. She was jealous that he loved us more than her. <laughs> why would she think that? Because he said so all the time. Interesting. Come on. Let me guess, you don't want me to read? We're gonna fix dinner. The gates are open. See, it, it, uh, you dumbass. Do you own a gun? Pure judgment. So much for PD. I just saw your dog take off down the street. The only way to open the gate is from the inside. Which means someone scaled the fence so they wouldn't be seen. I want you both to go back inside the house. I lock the door behind you. I should look for Brody. Carrie, we need to go inside. That... I don't believe that guy. That was just too perfect timing. Too perfect timing. Where is he? He's on your neighbor's lawn. I think it's him. I think that's the stalker. I miss her too. Oh, maybe not. That was just it's oddly like perfect timing. Does he even get the same haircut? He's trying to replicate what Carrie's attracted to. It tells us that he's desperately trying to put close to mm -hmm. He was bold enough to break in our backyard. Add that to his proven determination, and we got ourselves a serious escalation. Why? Why don't you have awesome. more surveillance on? Carrie put flyers up. We may get him to call to return the dog. If my fiance, he moved here, took Brody, was, was in this situation, he cares about Carrie. I have a gun on me at, at all points, he doesn't all want times. To, but if he feels like he's going to lose her, then he will. Lose her. Worst case scenario, he gets you alone. In which case, it would be important for you to play along with his delusions. You mean like tell him I love him? Within reason, do what he wants. By gaining his trust, he'll let his guard down, and that's when you can make your move. You think it could come to that? 
I don't know. Yeah, but if we can help it, if we're gonna have to comb through your life ever since he's been a part of it. Haven't we already done that? We're talking about each and every moment for the last two years. The answer could be in the smallest detail. Okay. <laughs> I can't see anything out of place. Look, even the hangers are uniformly spaced in the shoes. I bet if we measure, it'd be almost perfect. The kids obviously adopted their father's skewed perspective of their mother. A family that abuses together. You know, I thought it was just the angle of the crime scene photos. There's obviously something missing. Yeah, what if she was the one getting abused by everybody? A very dangerous one. His obsession is heightened, as indicated by his following her to Maryland, and the amount of detail in those letters. He writes instead of calls, which could mean that he's afraid of how it'll sound. He might be less educated or have some sort of physical issue, like a speech impediment. He wouldn't have written March 21st, 2006, in that first letter, that they didn't actually mean something to him. It could be that the first time he saw her at the bank or the movies, I and mean, the possibilities are endless. He's watching. His move here means that he's committed, and unless he's caught, he'll never break that commitment. Yet if he perceives that she has, we all know domestic disputes can be some of the most violent. Happiness is easy to fake when you only have a split second. <laughs> you should see how many happy looking photos I have of me with my exes. Were you ever happy in any of your marriages? I don't know, maybe, maybe not. If I was, I can't remember. Marriages. I'm not sure if uh, is me alarming. and the idea of being married is a good mix. You kept trying. I didn't have any kids. I gave absolutely everything to Haley and Jack and my job. It was hard to find that balance. So, something had to give. It wasn't enough yeah. for one side of the story. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that I am any less committed or try any less hard for my son. Hey, Hutch, what the hell do I know? The only people I've ever made happy were divorce lawyers. Well, we've got four failed marriages between us. We're experts at something. Damn! You're 0 and 3? That's definitely family. alarming. Everybody has their breaking point. Oh, and three is like your wife. There's no going past strikes. that. Three strikes, you're out. Judge, I'm used to doing this to America's most creepy, but digging through Carrie's life like this makes me feel all gross and little. To me, we two is alarming. To help. One. No, but it's her business why okay. she takes a large cash withdrawal out in Vegas, and her private doctor was voted with Atlanta's best. So why did she go to the Atlanta Women's Health Clinic not once, not twice, but three times? Thanks. Hmm. Ryan doesn't know. You cheated? Back when we were figuring out what this is, if I was moving, I was pregnant. And I couldn't. I couldn't have a baby, not then. That was your decision. You don't have to explain that to anyone. I know. It's just Ryan's career was taking off. I didn't want to trap okay. him. I didn't want us to have any regrets. Okay. Were you ever gonna tell me? Oh, that sucks. You didn't even tell him. I thought you wanted to have kids. Oh! I gotta go. Oh my god, Ryan, I'm sorry. Oh. Oh. Carrie. God. Drama in the middle of a freaking investigation. Damn it. Oh, that's alarming. That's an understatement. JJ, you fought for this case. You wanted to help Carrie, that's what we're sitting here trying to do. Then why do I feel like we violated her too? I mean, you got... No, that's not your... That's her fault. That is her fault, hands down. She got pregnant with her freaking fiancé? Didn't tell him and got an abortion? And still didn't tell him? 
And it's been a year? That's him. That's him. That's him. Oh, that was weird. I killed my husband. And you're aware that you don't have to talk to us. What else is there to say? I shot him. Why? It's what I had to do. Had to? Why do you need to be patient? Well, are you kidding? Look at me. After Nathan was born, I completely let myself go. I'm fat. I'm a terrible housekeeper. I'm a terrible cook. Yeah. Believe me, I needed a husband with a lot of patience. <laughs> Audrey, Nathan tells us that you never attended any of his sports or... He's probably right. Why didn't you? Well, I was doing such a terrible job at home, I didn't want to embarrass my kids out in public, too. Okay, this is weird. I knew the, I'd seen it's, him it's like she's at been cleaners, at a restaurant. I didn't know where else to go. You did the right thing. Manipulated, like... Carrie, you're gonna get through this. It could be a risky situation for him. Why him? Uh, he's setting himself up for rejection, and if he feels anger or shame, there's a possibility he could turn violent. Alright, I'm gonna get this picture out. His hair looks a little longer on that than what it was, but okay. No one ever hit this woman. I knew it. And yet she's been profoundly abused. Mentally. What? Her abuse was psychological. Yeah. He had complete control over her. Why is it that men so easily believe that the woman must somehow be the victim? You asked her opinion. Come in with us. There's one thing we haven't asked her yet that might interest what? you. <laughs> this isn't about statistically the most likely to be the victim in a scenario. This is about who is and who isn't the victim. That's my dog! Not your dog, buddy. Back off. Look, I said it's not your dog. Back off. Will you back up? It's not your dog. Son of a bitch. Stay away. That is not his dog. Shit. I just took her. I was right here. Again, why does she not have people with her? Nobody's, nobody's with her. Nobody. No surveillance, nothing. She went back, she's going places, and she's alone. That's really nice. I've thought about cutting my hair. Don't you do that, don't you cut your hair, do you understand me? Georgia that have been transferred to Maryland, so I am sending you wow. registrations and IDs from both states. Pictures coming at you. I've got a name and an address. If you really take care of his place, it's unlikely, but we should still check it out. He's not that smart, so. Every second we're here, she's alone with him. Dude, what do you want us to do? What do you want us to do? He wants to make her happy. <laughs> you wouldn't take her where he wants to go. Knocked out every fucking she door? Wants to go. Maybe someplace that means something to the both of you. Proposed to her in Chesapeake Beach. Chesapeake? I've been around there. I had just... I was finishing up the laundry. And uh, oh, I was wow. hanging up my husband's shirts in the closet. I looked over and I saw him on the bed. And I shot him. What about the blood? I shot my husband. Wear your bloody clothing. And then you... Philip would have been furious if I allowed all those strangers into the house. And mess like that. Wow! I'm gonna have to drag her through the trial. I recommend she's charged with criminally negligent homicide. By the time it's over, she'll probably get off with probation and time served. Thank you. What in the world? For taking you away. 
it's a really good place for us to start over. Don't do anything stupid. Wait for the right opportunity. Then you remember. When you got up from your desk, and I sat in your chair, and you... <laughs> oh, did they work together? No, oh, they did work together. Oops. <laughs> See, that would be the definition of he kissed me, I didn't kiss him. <laughs> like, you know how, like, some people in relationships or whatever? <laughs> he kissed me! But they're over there, like, kissing back at the same time. <laughs> No, shit, I thought she grabbed it. Damn it! Michael, we don't want to take her away from you. Carrie told me she wants to be with you. It's true. I'm so happy now. You think you're gonna hurt me? We could, we could go back to Atlanta? We could find a little house? You are killing it, girl! Manipulation! Get him! Girl! Come I can't keep up the fire! That dude's getting like 25 years. You did great. If that. <laughs> your computer. That's right. Okay. Maybe more. He found this in his van along about a hundred photos of Carrie. That's he obsessive stalking. That's kidnapping. He it was there it's gotta be at least 25 years. Okay. Multiple kidnappings. Susan B. Anthony said, A woman must not depend on the protection of man, but must be taught to protect herself. Vandalism. Okay, then, what is it? Because you've been a little off. Really, I'm just... I'm tired. Okay. Bullshit, well, what's wrong? Go home. Get some sleep. It's def- something else is wrong. There's like a deeper thing. Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I just really need to talk. I'm pregnant. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. At least you <laughs> good good thing for learning something. She learned something in the episode. Um, it's probably best to tell your other person, you know? Probably probably not something you want to just, like, hide from. I mean, you're adults. <laughs> wow. That's insane. That's really insane. Um, I don't know what that means for the future. Are we gonna like time jump? I mean, we kind of already time jump every every episode, kind of. Um, that was a cool episode. We we had a two a, a two for one. Um, very cool. We had a crazy stalker and a husband killer, um, and they they were both done very well. A very nice blend of of both stories and and both. Uh, investigations. So, I very much enjoyed it.
Like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you have not already. We are getting very, very close to the end of Season 3, and then we'll be on Season 4 of Criminal Minds. It's going by so fast. I feel like I just started this. I don't know. See y'all next time.